All right, it's time to put rims on the car, so we're going to have to find a nice set of rims for this vehicle. We're going to go online, and I like to do this good search, which gives me a good set of uh, selection, rather. It's going to call, be called Dub Spinners. I've been doing this search for a long time, and it always gives me a good search. You're going to go to Images for the Dub Spinners, and it always gives you a really, like, uh, well, it always gives a nice selection every time I've done it. Of course, it's taken a while to load. Um, when we do type in dub spinners and we click on it, um, usually you get a great selection and here they come. There's your dub spinners, all right? So I chose for the first one this particular black one. I'm choosing this one. I'll be honest with you. I think this is a hideous rim. But it's a good one to show for the, the uh, an example here. So when we click on a rim, you're going to notice the size here. You want to make sure that the size is decent. To get a good size rim, um, uh, you're going to have to check right here the size. So after we select a rim, we're going to right click on it and you're going to go to copy image. You're then going to open up your project and we're going to put a set of rims onto this car now. These are called layers. All right, this is the next steps. First thing we're going to do is we're going to just double click on layer one and we're going to call this car. After we've called this layer car, we've gone to the internet already. We found a rim that we like. We did a search. We're going to right click on it. Go to copy image. You're going to go into Photoshop and watch what happens to your layers. You're going to go to edit, paste. Boom. It gives me a whole nother layer with another rim. Okay. Now I want to show you guys a very important tool. First of all, when you're selecting a rim, look for this line, this definitive black line that can go around the rim. It's going to make your life a heck of a lot easier for you to trace this rim. So first things first. We are going to use, I'm going to teach you the lasso tools. This is how you take graphics off of pictures and off of the internet. You're going to go to the magnetic lasso tool. Hold this tool down, magnetic lasso tool. You're going to click in an area and see a small circle appear. You're then going to slowly trace around that black line. What it's going to do is grab the contrast of that black line. And it's going to go over this. Okay? <clears throat> As we're going around, the black definitive line. Oh, if you make a mistake, oh my God, I went all the way in there. Just hit backspace. As you hit backspace, it allows you to backstep as far as you need to. Sometimes you might want to take little baby steps and you can click. Do not double click because it'll complete the path. All right. So now I'm slowly tracing around the perimeter. All right. Tracing that rim. Whoops. Went out of line. Backspace. Come back over here. You're going to see another small circle appear. Click and boom. It completes the path, and it's a dotted ant. They call this the marching ants, all right? When you see the marching ants, you're going to go to Edit, Cut. After you go to Edit, Cut, you're going to see there's an empty layer here, right here. Throw this out. It's trash. Throw it into the garbage pail, and you're going to go to Edit, Paste. Now, we want to shrink this rim down to fit on the car. You're going to hit Control-T. When you hit control T, you can grab this corner and it will shrink the rim. However, if you want your rim to do this, go into different sizes, you're going to have to hold shift. When you hold shift, it allows you to change the size of the rim like that. If I don't hold shift, it maintains proportion. Holding shift in the new version of Photoshop allows you to skew the proportion. So we're going to skew it a little bit and don't be like, yes, no, nope. keep it nice and small. Very good. Coming up here, and we're going to lower it a little bit, right over here, boom, <laughs> right over there, and that's pretty legit, right there. Click the Move tool and Apply, and now you have placed a different rim on here, all right? So there's the original, and there's the new one, all right? I'm going to go into the rims now. I'm going to show you guys a couple of different scenarios here, so focus. I'm going to take this rim right here. This is my first rim. I'm going to drag it down. Whoopsie. Take this rim and drag it down next to the um, garbage pail. Now you have two rims over each other. All right. Here's the first rim. I can't see it. If I take them both away, there's the original and there's a new one. The first rim, I'm going to double click on it and call it front rim. I want to see you name all of your layers. Whoops. Front rim. <clears throat> all right. So there's your front rim. And now this one would be your back rim. This one right here is going to be called back rim. Uh, 
It's on the front rim though, Reese. Why are you calling it back rim? Because in the back rim layer, I'm going to click the move tool and I'm going to click on this rim and drag it to the back because we have two of them. You see the thumbnails will give you an idea of where they are. Control T is to transform. Holding shift will allow you to shift and make it a little bit smaller. And when you have a diagonal recession, the rim, the, rim, the back rim should be just a little bit smaller than the front one because the front one is closer to us and you make it fit. You can use your arrow keys as well. This is my arrow keys doing this. So I don't have to move with the mouse, guys. And there you got it. So I'm gonna hold shift. I'm gonna just stretch it out just a little bit more. And boom, there you have it. I'll shrink this in just a little bit right there. Boom, hit the move tool. And there it is. You can also get super close with the magnifying glass and get really close. This hand tool allows you to move your stuff around so you could work in different areas. I'll be honest, I really did nail it. I came close. It really hit the back rim close. But if you didn't, and let's say that it was off a little bit, like over here, and you see this little area, you can actually get close enough to move it down. To back out, control zero backs it out. This is all I expect of you for today. The, the front rims and the back rims done. All right? Now, I'm going to show you something. This is advanced, more Jedi way of doing things. Let's say your car has this issue. Oh, snap, Reese. I can't I can't do this now because the rim is like covering. I don't want to choose this. So check it out. I don't want you to be limited if you chose an awesome car where the rim is kind of covered. So here's what I did. Check it out. Let's say you chose this rim. Great. It was great. We showed that one. Let's say you chose this rim. You want to really make this rim look good. Uh, like let's just say this rim will really appeal to that car. Right click like we discussed. Copy image. Notice it's a thousand by a thousand. Okay. I copied the image. And if also, if you like this particular rim, you can click see more and it'll give you a whole bunch more in the whole search that relate to this particular rim. But I like this one. So copy image. Going into my uh, Photoshop again, back here. Let's say this is the car you had. Check it out. Edit. I'm going to fly now. So this way you guys can see everything. I'm going to paste it in. All right. There is my rim. If it's too big or too small, hit control T. I'm going to you know, shrink it a little bit so I could see what's going on. That's fine, whatever. So now I am going to use the magnetic lasso tool. I'm tracing. I'm going to go super quick now. Uh, whoops, backspace a little bit. Tracing, 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 tracing. We're going, keeping going, going around. <clears throat> right, 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 right. Beautiful, beauty, beauty. Coming up, coming up. Oh, bam. There it is. Got the marching ants. There's my rim. I'm going to go to edit, cut, get rid of that thing. It's trash. Throwing it out. All right. Now, I'm going to go to edit, paste. All right. There's the rim. Looking good. I'm going to hit control T, and I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Now, I want to show you something before I shrink it down. Check this out. This here, this white is an eyesore. It's not going to look right. It's going to look like I took it off the internet, which we did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool right here, the magic wand tool. In the magic wand tool, I'm going to click in these little white areas, and I'm going to be able to hit delete. Click in the white area, hit delete. Click in the white area, hit delete. Now check this out. Let's move this thing out of the way. On here, if I hold, if I click here, if I hold shift, I could select multiple areas. And now I can delete this part of the rim. I'm just going to hit delete. It's gone. I can get into here. Oh, look at that. See how it connects into here because there's not as good contrast in here? All right, check it out. I'm going to get super duper close into here. I'm going to try it again and see if it'll pick up. Will it? No, it goes all over the place. All right, no problem. We learned the magnetic. Now you're going to learn the polygonal right now this is the polygonal lasso tool i'm going to come into here and i'm tracing around here and boom make sure you're in the rim layer and you can go to delete and now it's gone so now i'm going to open this up i'm going to hit i'm going to move this out of the way so i could see what the heck is going on over here all right i'm going to all right, now I want to just show you guys how to edit this rim. I'm going to hit Control T in this layer right here. In this layer right here, we'll hit Control T. 
Oh, sorry. I'm glad this just happened. If you still have this little area selected over here and you hit Control-T, it's only going to select that little area. So whenever you see this thing like that, hit Control-D. And then you can hit Control-T and it will select the entire rim. Now, we'll hold Shift, shrink this rim down. By the, by the way, this is going to look awesome. We're going to put this rim where it belongs. And you notice how it's transparent now through these little circle holes over here. So check this out. I'm going to come over to here. Bam. I'm going to make the rim the about the size it's supposed to be, which is uh, I'm going to hold shift and drag this sucker down right about here. And there we have it, baby. I'm going to click the move tool and apply it. But this is an issue over here. This here is what we call a design dilemma. So if I take this, sorry, if I take this layer right here, and I click on the eyeball. Well, first of all, let's duplicate this layer. Now I have two of them. Click your move tool, drag, oopsie. Glad that happened. I'm in the car layer. I gotta be in this next layer. I drag this rim to the back. I hit control T, hold shift, drag it down. If you don't hold shift, the whole rim stays the same. Holding shift allows you to make the rim more malleable. And now I'm gonna drag it into about right here, stretch it out a little bit. Uh, right about there looking sharp. I'm, I'm all right with that. That's the back rim front rim though got a big problem. Look at this thing. Okay, no problem So let's take away the rim right now We're gonna take away the rim. First of all, I told you guys to click on this. We're gonna call this front rim This one will be called back rim All right now that I have the front rim watch this I'm gonna take away the front rim I'm going to click on this tool right here called the polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to get a little bit closer with the magnifying glass. I'm going to come to about here. You can use your uh, scroller on your mouse or you can use your hand tool to grab and make the area where you want it to be in cropped. I'm going to grab the polygonal lasso tool and check it out. I'm slowly tracing the perimeter of this little fender right here. And watch how we do. This is so simple. Coming over to here, up to about here, 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 and there. In the car layer, I'm going to go to, watch this. In the car layer, double click, call it car. In this car layer right here, make sure you're in the car layer. I Do not do this. Don't do edit, cut. You go to copy, edit, copy. If you do cut and you do this, it's wrong. Control Z. You're in the car layer. You're going to go to edit, copy. Watch what happens to my layers. Edit, paste. If I take everything away, I now have this little fender here. By putting this fender right here, this is my front rim. Watch this. If I put my layer one that I just made over it, look what happened. I just put that piece of the fender right here. I'll call this, sorry, double click on this. I'll call it front cover. I say, I don't care if you call your layers peanut butter and jelly, as long as you know what's what. So front cover right here, here's your front rim. If I take the move tool, look at this. It's like an illusion. That's because you have this part of the rim right here. And if I hit control zero, I back out and boom, look at that car. Look how sharp that looks. That's the way to do it. This is my original. These are my new ones. That's if you have this design dilemma. Otherwise, you can do it the simple way and just do it like this one. All right? That's it for the rims. And now we're going to move forward. You learn the lasso tool, the mag, the polygonal lasso tool, which is right here. You also learn the magnetic lasso tool, which is right here. And then you also learn this tool right here, the magic wand tool. You learn three tools just doing one one function. You also learn how to take an image off the internet and crop it and put it next, juxtapose, whatever you want to say, to your liking and compile it with another image. And that's doing um, just this simple exercise here. Keep the layers named. Make sure you have the original intact. Okay? You always want to do that because if you're restoring a picture or something, you want to keep the original because some people value that. And you want to, oh, I, want, oh, I also want to see the process. Okay? That's it for now. Next step, we're going to change color balance menus. Good luck.